we heard about a lot of rise in overdoses and fentanyl and, and alcoholism during COVID. Now that we're coming out of COVID, are we seeing a rise or drop a lot among college kids when it comes to drinking in particular? We're seeing all these trends on TikTok encouraging binge drinking. Is that contributing to more drinking or are we seeing less now that we're out of the pandemic? Well, we don't have data that fine degraded analysis that I can tell you what's going on in 2023, but I can tell you that in 20 and 20, there was um, a, con a continuing decline in binge drinking uh, among college age students. In 2021, there's been an uptick, uh, particularly among women. And it now turns out that on college campuses, women are actually binge drinking more than men for the first time in history. And there's been a narrowing of gap in drinking between men and women across the board, but it, it actually is more in women than in men now. And there was an uptick in 2021. During the pandemic, we did see generally, not just with college students, but we saw a general increase in the deaths and some of the pathology associated with alcohol. So a 25% increase in 2020, um, and, and that continued into 2021. So. As we've seen increases in problems with mental health across the board and, and other substance use problems. So I suspect that one of the things that restricted drinking in young people during the pandemic was the isolation and you know not being with their their compatriots and, and fellow students in social settings. But I think now um, people are back, they're in social settings and they're you know, it's it's what we call the in the in the field the alcohol deprivation effect. So people tend to really rebound in drinking after a period of not drinking, and so uh, we are a little concerned that this spring and spring break is going to be a return to um, some a good amount of binge drinking. And I just want to caution everyone that when you start hitting the binge drinking level, you start doing really bad things to your body.